In this video, we're going to talk about what you must do if you have a weekend off plan and you need to get back on plan. We are Dan and Mike from Biceps and Bunter and this yep. is 5 Minute Fitness where yep. we try to cram in as much training and nutrition advice into cram. 5 minutes as possible. If you like that and you want to go check out our other videos, go hit subscribe Boop. now. So in this video, we're going to talk about what to do if you've overeaten yes. for a day, a day, two days, maybe at the weekend, weekend you've overeaten. Even a week. Um, yeah. A lot of people, after a weekend, will almost give themselves punishment cardio or yeah. try to claw things back or should I lower things? Again, pretty topical because I've had a few clients, quite a, f quite a few actually, mm -hmm. lately go, oh, I fucked it this weekend. Should I, you know, just do a thousand calories and then do some more cardio? That's the worst thing that you can do, right? Yeah, the worst thing you can do is just go straight into the, what we call binge and restrict cycles where you have a lot of food at the weekend and then you go, right, I've got to under eat massively like 900 calories a day, a thousand calories a day. Because what happens is you end up doing that for like two or three days probably, it's what it's achievable for. And then it might get to Wednesday and you go, oh, fuck it. Can't bother. And you go back into then eating loads more food and you go back to then feeling sorry for yourself, feeling bad, you under eat. And it's just not a good cycle to get into. The best thing to do after having a day or two days of eating a lot of food or quite a lot of food is to just go back to a normal amount of calories for you. So whether that is 2,000 calories, 2,500 calories, depending on if you're dieting or maintaining, you need to just get back into the habit of being on course with your normal amount of daily calories. See, this is happening because what you're doing is you are overeating and sure, you might be overeating, you know, you might have gone in. What have you done really? That's bad. Nothing. You've enjoyed some food. You've probably had a nice time. You've been social. You might have had a takeaway. These are all normal adult-like behaviors. Like just because you're into fitness or you've dieted or you've been lean or whatever, doesn't make you any different to anybody else. Yeah, you're going to enjoy those foods at, at certain times. And yet you, you, you need to remember that you haven't done anything wrong. You've not fucking punched a child in the face. Like you're fine. All you've done is eat a bit of food. So there's no need to have that guilty feeling. Why would you ever feel guilty about eating something? It's like, okay, I've eaten that. I enjoyed it. You know, I'll own that decision, move on. I'm going to go back to normal. There's no need to to punish myself because I haven't done anything wrong. Actually, I'm just going to go back on track. And the, the amount of body fat gained in a short space of time like that is going to be minimal when you take into account that you might have been dieting previously, mm -hmm. you might be flat, you might have upped your energy expenditure, all sorts of things. Couple that with the thermic effects of food is going to be greater because there's more calories, like the amount of carbs that you will store in ratio to fat. There's loads of things in, in yeah. research for that suggest that a big, big overfeed doesn't actually gain that amount of body fat, uh, that much amount of body fat. What you will see is on the scale might go up. That's the problem with it, is people jump on the scales the next day or the, on the Monday morning after a weekend like that and they see the scales and they're like, oh my God, I'm two and a half kilos heavier. And they just assume that every single gram on that is body fat. They're like, oh my God, I'm so fat. Like this is the worst thing ever. The reality is the amount of that that's gonna be actual body fat is minimal. Like again, it doesn't, it takes longer than, than that to process yeah. all, that, all those calories. And over time you get fat because you chronically Overeat, overeat and overeat it's and not overeat. one day that you're going to do. Think that. about what the scale is. The scale is a measurement of weight, not of body fat. So if you've eaten more food, you will have more food in your stomach. You will have more carbohydrates and water in your muscles. You will have eaten more salt. You will have more salt. Foods. You will retain more water. You yeah. might have eaten something that particularly doesn't sit very well, not digest very well. You might have a slight inflammatory response. So that will be measuring all of that, not measuring just yeah. body fat. So be logical. Maybe don't step on the scales for two, three days. Yeah. That's fine. Get back to what you're doing because I, I guarantee that you won't have fucked it or you won't have done anything too bad. Just carry on doing what you're doing. And in some instances, you might actually want to bring your calories up as daft as that sounds, as counterintuitive as that sounds. But if you're trying to diet on too low calories, you'll go into those cycles, maybe give yourself three, four, five hundred extra calories. Actually, it might feel like shit, I shouldn't be eating all this. But that's much better doing it in a structured pattern than trying to starve and then binge and having a, an influx of four, five thousand on one particular day where you're uncontrollable. Give Giving yourself a little bit of leeway, a bit more variety in a structured fashion, releases that food focus, gives you a bit more food, a bit more energy, you'll train a little bit better, perform a little bit better, recover a little bit better, and ultimately get better results and you'll be a lot more stable over the long term. Just don't worry about it. If you if you fucking lost a tenner out of your wallet, you wouldn't then throw away all your money. You wouldn't fuck you have not fucked it. Just carry on with what you're supposed to be doing. That's it. So if you enjoyed that video, don't forget to hit subscribe, give us a like, drop a comment below if you've got any topics you want to see us cover, share that with a friend who needs to hear it, and until next time we have been Dan and Mike.